An issue would be once they are in school, are they truly equipped to maintain that? Do they know how to take care of themselves? Do they know how to truly study for a college class? I think probably the biggest issue that our students face is, is money. And that goes into how am I gonna pay for college if that's what I want to do. And I think all students in the back of their mind want that, but how am I gonna pay for it? Um, and not just tuition, but everything else that goes along with paying for school, even if they go to a two-year school. But also transportation. Do they have a car, a reliable car? Can they put gas in it? Do they need to work to help their families? And I think for our students, that's the biggest barrier. A lot of my students face issues um, that are across the spectrum. It may be something from they're homeless and we're trying to figure out how to get them a support system so that they can get to post-secondary to students that um, may be wanting to apply for Ivy League, but they don't know how to go about that. I even assist students with ACT. If they've hit a platform in ACT, I will get them resources, I will get them the support system that they need to get into the school of their choice. I think the biggest thing where I'm from is, uh, is the support of their family. Most of them where I'm from, they want their kids to go to work. They want them to see the immediate impact. And, and I try to tell most of my kids too, you can work and go to college. It's not impossible to do both. And it all comes back to money usually with the ability or inability to afford a car or ability or inability to afford lunch the next day. You know, it's more to going to college than just that. You do have to have some other means. And I, and I try to help those kids with those other means, you know, try to figure out how we're gonna, how we're gonna pay for lunch while we're going to school. But I, but I do try to stress too the importance of how you can get a job. You can work while you're in, while you're in college. Maybe not full time, but, um, but you can do it. Our students face uh, different issues based on, I feel like, their family's economic status. Um, our students who are lower income a lot of time have parents that haven't been to college before. We have, you know, multiple students that are facing homelessness. We really try to work together to use wraparound services so students can receive help in lots of different areas and as a Gear Up site coordinator I've been able to help connect them with other services that we have um, at our schools. A lot of the issues that our students are facing would be the single parent or um, middle class and they're disheartened because they won't get that money but they want from the Pell Grant but they want to go to a four-year college and they're realizing that mom dad or mom they just don't have the money to save for college so they were going to have to make the decision do I take out loans or do I go to a two-year college the acceptance of that sometimes is too hard I think the biggest challenge is that in our particular situation, our district cut out our senior success class and what we had done previously in all the years of the grant, um, our CTE teachers were utilized within the daily schedule and they had each of the seniors daily in their classes and they worked on everything from the next guides to soft skills to college app week to financial aid whatever it may have been um, they were there and they knew each of those students and they were able to interact on a daily basis this year going in the decision was made that the students would only have those classes for the first semester so now we've come back and of course with everything that we've got going on with FAFSA no one has those seniors in any given class so first of all, I feel like it's a challenge for us to meet their needs, for us to have that eye-to-eye -eye contact with them, and for us just to get them prepared like we would have had had they not taken that out of the schedule. Some of them are in foster care and they don't, they don't know what to do. They, they haven't even considered college because they don't think they can do it. They don't think they're smart enough. They don't know what, how to go about it. So um, that's some issues that they have. And so really, that's 
good thing for them because we are able to help them and find a lot of money for them. Um, so, and then the other issues are kids that maybe want the scholarships and maybe don't quite have the grades, but you know, they might have a parent that can pay for it. So it's just trying to balance all that out to give them the most benefit in their situation. So most of our students are facing issues of being raised by grandparents or other family members or sometimes even friends. They do have a lot of, a lot of absence in their life as far as family and support. And a lot of our students are just trying to get through high school in order to be able to survive and get a job and to be able to support themselves. Um, a lot of our students are also facing issues of if they want to dream big and go on to some place to get a post-secondary education, they don't see how that's a possibility and there's no one in their life to really show them and open their eyes to all of the opportunities that are out there.